Welcome to Analytica Video Shorts, short videos showcasing individual topics in Analytica 5.0. Your host today, Lonnie Chrisman. I just opened and evaluated someone's model that had been built in Analytica 4.6, and I encountered this error. Shoot, you know, it worked fine in 4.6, so why this error now? Ugh. Well, I've seen this a couple times before, and never fear, this is an easy one. So I'm going to show you what to do about it and then explore the issue in some depth. Your first and usually best option is right here at the bottom of the error dialog itself. You can just turn on this preference right here and be done. Save your model with the preference change, of course. In the several cases where I've actually experienced this error, this completely solves the problem. So if you're experiencing this, there's a high probability this will solve it for you too. But let me dive a little deeper. First, let's understand what the error says. It says you use the plus operator on a text value, something like hello plus world. And of course, that's bad, bad, bad. If you want to concatenate text, use the ampersand operator. We call it the text concatenation operator, hello concatenate world, which evaluates to hello world with no space between words in this example, of course. So this error is not new to release 5.0. Analytica has been issuing a warning message for this taboo for like the past 15 years. What's different is that this is now a hard error, not just a warning, and you can't just ignore and continue through a hard error. With the new preference on, hello plus world evaluates to nan, that weird not a number value, without issuing any error or warning. If the final outputs of your calculation actually depend on the concatenation, you'll see the NAND values propagate to your final result, and that would mean that this preference by itself wasn't enough to solve the problem for you. But in the several models I've studied, that didn't actually happen. If you don't see NANDs in your final result, I'd say you're in good shape. In those cases I've looked at, I've seen something like this expression, where X is a mixture of text and numbers, and the error occurs at this plus operator. This expression looks correct, right? Like the error shouldn't happen? But remember that Analytica evaluates almost everything using fast array operations. So the evaluation of x plus 1 encounters those text values even though they don't contribute to the final result of the if-then. It's these kind of cases that are solved by setting the x plus y returns nan for text preference. And by the way, that preference is now the Analytica default, except when you're loading a legacy model. New speedup enhancements and multi-threading in release 5.0 rely on the arithmetic properties of addition, and hence they're incompatible with plus or sum being used for text concatenation. But if you were to turn off multi-threaded evaluation, that would also make this issue disappear. In fact, if you force single-threaded evaluation, it'll behave exactly the same way that it did in 4.6. Namely, it'll issue a warning, but concatenate the text if you ignore the warnings. The way you turn off multi-threaded evaluation is to go to the definition menu, system variables, settings, max model threads, and then set this to 1, which means limit the evaluation to a single thread. But who wants to disable multi-threaded evaluation? Personally, I want all my CPU cores sharing in the fun. That's why I prefer using the new preference setting instead. If you see NANs in your result, then you need to change your model to use the concatenation operator instead of plus. In that case, you'll have to find out exactly where the problem occurs. To do that, go back to the Edit Preferences dialog and turn the preference back off. You might have to dirty an input to force your model to recalculate cached results, but then evaluate your model again to get to the error message. Once the error message shows, press Yes to jump to where the offending plus is at. Finally, I'd like to comment that having both text and numbers in the same array when that array is used in calculations is horrible style. I mean, that's what's happening in these models. If you need to do something like this because of a mixture of text and numbers in the same array or same table, your model was poorly structured to start with. In a well-structured model, this problem should never have occurred in the first place. But today's topic is not on good modeling practices or style, so that discussion will have to wait for another day, another topic, another video. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.